Now the next thing we're going to bind is the auto combo box, which is in the books tab. So the auto combo box must show the names and uh, the surnames of our authors. Now binding this is not very different from binding uh, a normal J table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a method, a private method that has no return type, and I'm going to call it bind. Mm, CB box author. We'll call that for now. All right. The first thing we need to do is to get uh, a list of all the authors from the authors table. All right. So to do that, I'm just going to take a, a bit of a shortcut here. I'm going to copy these three lines. Now, as you can see, these three lines are repeated continuously throughout our application. So it makes sense that eventually we need to remove them from our our methods and uh, make a separate method for them. All right, so I got authors list. Now, remember when you are creating a model for a combo box, the combo box model needs a um, and it needs an array of type object. All right, so the first thing we need to do is uh, to convert our list into an um, an array of type object. So we're going to say object authors array is equal to <coughs> and we're going to take authors list and we're going to convert it into an array. So we call it to array method. There we go. So it converts the, the uh, array list into an array of type object. That's the first thing. The second thing is we need to create a uh, default combo box model. Right? So we're going to call it default combo box model. Right? We're going to call this one model is equal to new default combo box model. All right? And we're going to set this uh, We're going to actually pass it authors array. There we go. That's much better. And then we're going to call the combo box CB book author dot set model model. Now the one last thing to do is to call this method inside the uh, uh, constructor. All right. So we're going to call bind CB box author. Save this and run it. OK, let's check out the books tab. And you can see that there's some type of binding took place here. But the information that it's outputting is not quite what we expected. We're expecting the n surname and the name of our authors, but we're getting this the the ID of uh, of our authors. Now we can fix this quite easily. What we need to do is to go into the authors class and change the two string method. And there we have it. If you notice what's happening in the two string method, it's outputting school library dot authors ID equals and the ID. So that's exactly what we are getting in that combo box. When we when we click on the drop down combo box, that's what we're getting. So we're gonna modify this to output just the name and uh, the surname and uh, the name of the author. All right, we can call these methods directly because even though they are private methods, we're calling them from within the class. That's how we can call them without requiring the, the getter, uh, getter uh, methods. All right, so let's save that and run it again. And there we go. We've modified the two string, and so we've got the names and surnames of our authors. 
now we've done we are done with with binding the next thing we're going to do is to add functionality to the edit delete and clear buttons